Shari Shalom Wam. I'm going to start off by saying, Kahala, all Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah. All praises to the Most High, whose true name is Yahweh. In the name of the Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel, whose true name is Yahweh Shah. Bahashem, Rakar Kodash, and the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who lead, teach, and rule well. Honors and salutations to your faithful occupant preaching the word and truth sincerity across the four corners. It's the brother you died from the GMS Atlanta camp. Just wanted to do um, a quick, uh, quick in transit uh, video on uh, on the topic of pretty much your pilot light. Will it grow or will it be extinguished? You know. Um, it's lucky I'm, you know, I'm driving, so I, I won't be able to to pull up, you know, precepts, uh, you know, directly from the from the scripts. But but uh, I'm gonna have to just roughly paraphrase. But you know, that's uh, that's one thing uh, coming to, coming into the knowledge that you're an Israelite, and then you know, um, you know, for those of us who are called to to stand in the footholds of the prophets, man, and go out there and prophesy. That's a whole new level of responsibility. Because you gotta understand that this is a this is a, a spiritual war. You know, we get attacked in this world, and it feels like it's uh it's so much about the world, it's so it, you know, it affects you so much carnally that sometimes you really don't fully grasp and realize how how much of a spiritual battle it is. So you know, just thinking about myself, you know, um, from from coming to the knowledge of being an Israelite, you know, to really kind of being in that very, that very, very young, you know, on the outside stage of, you know, just watching videos and and um, watching the men on the streets and, and, you know, doing my own due diligence to... You know, you know, uh, personal testimony to having to to pray to even be able to get to um, to camp to to watch the men, you know, to actually go to the altar and and hear the word directly from the mouth of the men of the Lord. You know, even as I think about that now, even even that itself is, is a very spiritual thing. You know, because. Like I said, when when I um, when I really had that 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 desire, that burning desire to to go, you know, to camp, you know, and listen, what's the? I had I had to pray for it, man. You know, because we know pursuing to pursuing to Deuteronomy 28 that our people. Our nation, which our nation once again consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans on your father's side, you know, we know that um, pursuant to Deuteronomy 28, verses 15 on down to 68, that we living under heavy, heavy curses, man. And that's spiritual. We living under heavy curses because we as a nation, we went off, you know? So, like I said, that's... That's one thing in it right there that I had I had to personally do to get to camp. I had to pray, man. I had to, to pray and ask the Lord to to make it possible and feasible for me to get to camp. Cause shoot, man, I, I was financially finished, man. You know, I had to I had to work, you know, just to so-called make ends meet. You know what I mean? And um I mean, that's, I'm not saying that to, to glorify myself or to, you know, to make myself seem bigger or, you know, unique because through the spirit, man, that's a lot of, that's a lot of men's story. Because once again, like you go back to them curses, man, them curses, you, you can't outrun the curses, man. You can't outrun the, the hand of the Lord. When the most I want to put judgment on you, whether it's you, your family, your friends, your the nation, anybody, he going to put that judgment on it and, there, and there's nothing that anybody can do about it. But, um, so, you know, just in, in thinking about that, 
you know, if you're an Israelite, especially an Israelite um, man, you kind of have, so to speak, you kind of have um, the potential to have like a pilot, a pilot light. Meaning, before you come into the, the knowledge and understanding that you are an Israelite, it's, uh, you know, anybody who's familiar with like, um, with gas stoves, you know, you have that, uh, that gas line going. You know, and you have to you have to spark that 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 gas line to keep that pilot light going. And whether whether that that pilot light goes on to light the other eyes on the stove, you know, you have that pilot light going. It might it might not it might not manifest to light the eyes the the other eyes on the stove, but that pilot light's always going. You know, so before you come into the knowledge of you being an Israelite, it's kind of like you have that gas line going, man. You know, it's kind of like that that gas is flowing. And then when the Most High reveals to you that you're an Israelite, it's like that that gas line is ignited. You know, and that that really is the beginning. That's the beginning of. You being a, a, a new creature, a new creation, you know, as the scriptures speak about. But with that, with that responsibility, you know, um, comes certain expectations. You know, whether it's um, the, the dietary laws in Leviticus um, 11, you know, understanding that you have to, that you can't be a nigga no more in the world, that you really have, that you are a prince of the power and you have to do things according to the will of the most high you have about shimmy how shy um if you're if you're blessed enough to be called to to prophesy you know and and go to camp every week to prophesy um the downfall of, of this wicked kingdom showing people their transgressions you know, even with that, you can't, the scriptures speak about, it, you can't, you can, you pretty much can't judge someone if you're, if you're doing what the, uh, what you're judging them for. So I can't, you know, if I'm, if with us being, um, of the hopeful elect, I can't go out here and judge anybody for committing adultery if I'm myself committing adultery. You know, you, you really are elevated to a whole new level uh, of how you got to live. That's why I was going to speak about you being a new creation. Also, you coming in as a newborn babe because you're really transformed through the spirit, through the spirit and power you have by Shemi Hawa Shah. You're really transformed into a whole new entity, you know? And it's a beautiful process, man. You know, it's, um, it's kind of like a, a caterpillar going into the cocoon. You know, and then at the end, at the end of that process of him, you know, settling down, uh, forming a cocoon, sitting there and and uh, transforming within the cocoon, he comes out as a whole new creation, as a butterfly, man. You know, but that's why I say, with the topic, uh, with the topic of the of the lesson, your pilot light, like I said, that that. That, that that gas line has been running just by you being an Israelite, by you being a a, a son of the lineage of uh, of Jacob, of Jacob, Israel, an Israelite, and then the Most High ignites that 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 line with the identity, and then from there, what do you do? You know, because from there, really, it's only you only really have two options, man, especially if. You put your hand to the plow, you have two options. Option one is you grow that light. You know, scriptures speak about two. That um roughly paraphrasing us being exalted, you know, uh, being a, a light to the world or a, a lit candle to the world, and who you know, you can't hide you can't hide that light. You can't put that hide that, that light under a bed. It has to be out um, on the mountain, so to speak, on the pinnacle, to where it has to shine forth to the world because we are 
the, the worldly representation of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, until our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, returns to the earth. We're, we're the earthly representation. That's why it speaks about um, the rebuilding of the house of David. We're the earthly rep representation of the Most High until we're saved from this, this place, man. So you can't, you can't just let that pile of light always to be, continue to be a pile of light. That, that light has to grow. You know, whether it's, um, man, it's, it's, and it's, it grows, it's manifold, man. You know, you, you gotta read, you gotta study, you gotta build with brothers, you know? You gotta go through certain experiences, you gotta get corrected and reproved, you know? You gotta get humbled, you gotta get uh, uplifted. It's a whole, it's a whole process, man. But through all that, through all, um, through the whole through the whole process at the end you always come out stronger if you if you're in the right spirit you know if you're truly operating in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah you always come out stronger man if you just endure you know just um you know and enduring all things for the elect's sake you know we do this because we like I said we're we we're, we're rebuilding the house of David man you know so that's the first option the first option is you humbling down and allowing yourself to be created, uh, allow yourself to be molded and created into a new creation through the power and might of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's option one. And if you do that, your light is going to grow from being a pilot light to, you know, a, a small flame, you know, a medium flame, a large flame. And then, um, <laughs> like Scripture speak about, uh, you know, you're going to grow to the point that. Lord willing, you're gonna be able to push the word, and your and the words come out of your mouth through the spirit and power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is gonna be a consuming fire, man. You know, when you when you watch the videos of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, you know, the elders are in uh, in, in these camps, you know, these men men that have been in the camps for uh, a certain number of years, and they push that word, man. You can you can see, you can you can feel the spirit that's coming off of these men, man. And that's because they 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 they're built in the spirit and spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You can you can feel the spirit, man. You know, and your goal should be to be uh, to follow in those footsteps, man, and uh, and and, and grow in that spirit. You know, the same spirit uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, and through that, that power is gonna grow. It's gonna grow bigger and bigger, and you're gonna be able to consume uh, and conquer all situations that, that the most high put you in you know but on the flip side if you if you fight in the spirit man or you're not doing your due diligence you know we can't we came out of um 2017 me and Corey triple d death death destruction and diligence you know by apostle tahar if you're not doing your due diligence and and really working to grow in the spirit even in your downtime man in your downtime you know you might be watching a movie or a documentary to, you know, to help you have a certain understanding of a, a topic of history, you know, or uh, the chip, or um, the rollout of the, you know, the new world order, the, the plan, so to, or agenda, so to speak. Even in your downtime, man, you're being built in the spirit, you know? But if you fight that, the most high, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, so indeed you're not worthy of that spirit, man. Cause it's a, it's beautiful, you know. This this is you you can't. It's indescribable, honestly. But he gonna he gonna put that pilot light out. And if you put that pilot light out, man, hey, it ain't coming back, man. You know. Well, let me say this. You you know you may be for you know the scripture speak about the Lord has mercy on who He has mercy on. He may put it back, but man, in, in this in the time that we in, you know, I, with me being. Um, knowing about the, the truth, so to, uh, so to speak, and being in the camp for the, the little bit of time I've been in the camp, yo, it's from month to month, you see how things are speeding up. And that's being very uh, generous in time frame. You can see it speed up from week to week, sometimes day to day, but I'm just, you know, using month to month because it's, uh, it's an easier time frame to gauge, you know. From month to month, you see everything speeding up, man. Everything. So, I say all that to say, yeah, the Lord may have mercy on you, you know, if you transgress, transgress to a certain level, 
But hey, man, at this point, I, I wouldn't chance it, you know? I wouldn't chance it, and Lord willing, I'm not gonna chance it, you know? So, those are the two options, man. You get that, 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 that pile of lights will either grow bigger and bigger, and become a consuming fire on this earth so we can all do our part to to spiritually destroy this fucking place, man, until um, Yahweh Shah returns to, to and the, Yahweh Shah and the angels return so we can physically destroy this place or it's going to be put out. And if it's put out, you got you got to hey, you got to answer for the fact that you didn't you didn't flip those talents, man. You didn't flip those talents because even by you coming into the truth and having the spirit for um any amount of time, that's that's a talent in itself, and you got it, and you're required to flip the, to flip and grow those talents, you know. So um, I don't have much more in the occupy. I don't want to go on too long, you know. Once again, I want to say, call Allah, all Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Shah, all praise to the Most High. His true name is Yahweh, in the name of the Lord and Savior, the nation of Israel. His true name is Yahweh, Shah. Uh, Bashim Rukar Kodash in the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach, lead, and rule well. Honors and salutations to your faithful occupant pushing the word and truth and city across the four corners. Lord willing, you were edified. Until next time, I say Shalom.